Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and can you guess what planet we're looking at just by basically looking at it? I'm pretty sure most of us recognize Earth almost right away. Here's the thing though, Earth has quite a dramatic history. As a matter of fact, in the last four and a half billion years, it changed quite a lot. The face of Earth uh, has changed at least four times quite uh, dramatically to the point where you would not be able to recognize it. And today we're going to talk about those four times in Earth's history when it actually looked nothing like this at all. Welcome to What The Math. And to help us visualize various events that happened throughout Earth's history, we're going to use both Universe Sandbox Square, but also a very interesting simulation from the Smithsonian Museum that I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Now, first of all, um, when Earth was just created, as you can probably imagine, it was not a very pleasant place. Uh, specifically, about 4.6 billion years ago, Earth most likely resembled something similar to to this, a glowing hot bowl of lava. Now, in terms of astronomical ages, it didn't actually last very long. Uh, specifically, we think it might have lasted for just a few million years, and it cooled down pretty quickly. Earth still stayed pretty hot on the inside, but the outside part um, actually solidified and started to resemble something like this. This is actually from the Smithsonian.com, um, and this is the period uh, that we refer to as the Hadean era. Now, Earth here is actually still pretty hot. As a matter of fact, um, the temperatures on the surface were probably not very easy to survive on. But um, overall, though, this particular Earth uh, was already kind of different from the Earth that you saw right here. So it's no longer a molten lava bowl. It's actually a solidified Earth where you actually have a surface to walk on, even though this particular surface is not super pleasant. Now, this particular age actually lasted for about 500 million years. So this is kind of what Earth looked like for about 500 million years. And this to us suggests that there could be other exoplanets that look exactly like this right now, and they could potentially change and transform into Earth-like in the next few uh, million to billion years. And eventually through the volcanic eruptions and basically uh, uh, the activity on the surface, we started to get liquid water and Earth started to resemble something very similar to what you see here. The actual um, continents started moving around. Uh, they recombined into one large continent several times throughout the history. Um, and then something unusual started happening. Specifically about 3.8 billion years ago, maybe even 4 billion years ago, uh, Earth actually started getting life um, inside the beautiful ocean that you see here. But the life on the surface didn't appear for another few billion years. The life on our planet at first was very, very simple. It was actually almost impossible to detect it from the outside. And eventually life um, within those waters actually started to transform the appearance of the planet and also the composition of the atmosphere as well. The temperature here, as you can see, is still a little bit hotter than it is today. Um, and it, it's actually a bit of a mystery because uh, back then the sun didn't produce as much energy. So we don't really know what made it warmer. But anyway, that's not really the point for this video. Uh, the idea here is that the life in the oceans started to transform the appearance of Earth. And eventually Earth actually became purple. Now, this is a hypothesis known as the purple Earth hypothesis. And you can check out the video I made about it a few months ago, uh, where I showed you and explained to you what happened there and how it actually started to look like this and why it started to look like this. Now, in a nutshell, it was the bacteria that made oceans look purple. And those bacteria became extinct when the uh, chlorophyll bacteria that basically produced oxygen kind of became more supreme and ruled the planet for a very long time, causing all of the purple looking bacteria to completely disappear and thus transform our planet into something that looks like this. And it stayed this way for another few billion years. But because this bacteria was so efficient at producing oxygen, eventually it kind of overproduced it. As a matter of fact, there is an event known as the Great Oxygenation Event that occurred about 2.1-ish billion years ago that transformed Earth once again to look like this. There's actually a few videos I made about Snowball Earth and how Earth was transformed by, um, well, not just bacteria, but I guess the temperature itself. But what we think happened, and this actually happened at least twice, uh, this particular event occurred 
2.1 billion years ago and another snowball earth occurred about 650 million years ago. This is way, way before dinosaurs, by the way. Um, the earth was almost entirely covered by ice with some liquid ocean here and there. And so this was essentially the fourth um, official face of earth that occurred in the last 4.6 billion years. And obviously, eventually, with time, the volcanoes and the high concentration of CO2 melted these oceans and Earth once again became uh, like this. The water became liquid and the continents were visible again. Um, this was before a very, very complex life evolved and within about 100 million years after this, this is when we had uh, a very large explosion of various animals. And about 200 million years later, dinosaurs appeared and then about 250 million years more, humans. So, in essence, these are the four faces of Earth in the history of our planet. We had the beautiful snowball Earth that happened twice, at least twice, in the history of our planet. We also had the purple Earth, about which you can learn in one of the previous videos I made. The Hadean Earth that lasted for about half a billion years. And lastly, the super hot molten ball Earth that doesn't really have a name, but pretty much every planet goes through this stage as well. So, what this suggests to us is that there are actually a lot of planets we might discover in the future that have these appearances that actually resemble Earth as it was billions and possibly hundreds of millions of years ago. This also indicates to us that we need to be very careful at not mislabeling planets as uninhabitable just based on their appearance because they could potentially transform in time to become Earth-like. So in that sense, we need to study our planet's history a little bit more accurately just so that we can actually identify future potential habitable planets for our own benefit and also for our own survival. Well, anyways, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And hopefully now you know a little bit more about the history of our beautiful planet and also about how things might change for us once we discover new exoplanets in the future and how we might actually be able to find a precursor to our planet and then maybe even make it habitable by uh, terraforming it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. And consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me a lot. See you guys.